Eleven people forced out of their home following an early morning fire in Hartford. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sarah Welch. News 8 first on the scene of that blaze on Albany Avenue. Tonight, the Red Cross is helping those victims as investigators figure out what ignited the fire at the multifamily in the city's north end. News 8's Mark Robbins on the scene with more. The fire began shortly after 6 o'clock this morning. The third floor of that apartment building was engulfed in flames when firefighters arrived. Most of the building's residents were sleeping when the fire started. They were able to self-evacuate, and only when they were safely outside did the seriousness of the situation become a reality. After I got, got outside, then I seen uh, fire bursting out of the window. And, you know, it's a little scary, scary thing, you yeah. know. Several firefighting units were needed to battle this blaze due to the structure and frigid weather conditions. There was an aggressive interior attack. Once the fire gets into the cockloft area and starts spreading, then it becomes a labor-intensive uh, operation where you have to call in additional resources. And with these weather conditions, it makes that task even more difficult. Building Superintendent Debbie Nails tried to account for all 12 of her tenants, but when recounting her experience, she suddenly realized her worst fear. I heard somebody outside yelling, break a window, and I thought they were robbing somebody. And I jumped up and I ran. I heard him say, break the window. So I look up out my window and I see the fire up over me, the old man up over me. Oh, God. He does. I don't even see him. He's not out of there. Um, see, so you're worried. There's... So I ran upstairs. There's just one person missing, Mr. Herman. And while there wasn't a name released at the scene, fire officials did confirm that an elderly man was found dead in his third floor apartment. A man who was thought of fondly by those who knew him and was known by his landlord for nearly 40 years. And he just lost his daughter. Oh. Oh, Mr. Herman, he's dead. The fire department says they are trying to save the structure right now. It may be somewhat jeopardized with a partial roof collapse, but it is uninhabitable. The Red Cross will be on hand to help the residents find a new place to live. On the scene in Hartford, Mark Robbins, News 8.